This is John Colo at DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you and what we're going to do today is a good old fashioned juice off comparison test where we're going to compare two juicers side by side, head to head to let you guys know which one of these two juicers, if you're considering these two juicers, you should buy. Of course, I do also want to let you guys know that I have over 450 videos on this YouTube channel, many of which uh, compare different juicers to one another so that you guys could choose the best juicer for you. Also have videos, you know, going over all, you know, uh, some of the different styles of juicers and why you might want to buy one over the other. Be sure to check the links down below this video to find some of my most popular and videos that could help you the most select the best juicer for you. Now the next thing I want to say is that if you do like my videos, like the format, like that I'm comparing juicers for you because no other retailer on earth does this to the extent that I do, I would encourage you guys to support me and my work by making your purchase at discountjuicers.com. This directly supports me so I can continue to make these educational videos about comparing juicers as well as all the other informational content including uh, growing your own foods and all these things that I put on YouTube. So I want to thank you guys in advance for those of you guys that have supported me in the past and I want to thank you guys for those of you guys that, have, that will support me in the future. So with that, let's get into today's juice off. The way we're going to do this first is we're going to go ahead go over the specs of each of the machines and then we're going to go over uh, actually juicing in both the machines to see which juicer is superior uh, when juicing a same produce item. So first I want to go ahead and introduce the machines we have today. Over on this side we have the Huram HAA juicer. This juicer is made in Korea and Huram is the originator of the first vertical single auger cold press style slow juicer. Over on this side we have the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Elite Model C7000. Uh, both these are current models, they just came out uh, 2016 and this one is new, unique and different because unlike this one it has a nice large feed chute that makes juicing easier and it's also going to save you guys some more time. So that's why I like uh, this guy over this guy. But there's a lot of other reasons why you might want to like the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer over the Huram HAA. Now I do want to mention that the Huram Cur HAA Juicer is their latest design. It's their Alpha Series design. I have compared their uh, Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Elite to the second generation style Huron machines in a previous episode. Uh, but this is their latest design, so you'd think with their latest design, it'd even be better than their previous designs and hopefully get more yield. In the previous episode, comparing the second generation technology to the uh, Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Elite, uh, this machine won uh, overall when juicing carrots, uh, not only due to the yield, but also due to taking less time. So let's see how this will fare differently. So I guess with that, let's go over uh, some of the different parts and the specifications. Oh, so the, uh, the thing I want to mention is that the uh, Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Elite is also made in Korea. And actually, I visited both factories that make these machines. I visited uh, Huram when I was over in Korea many years ago and I, I visited Kuvings many years ago. If I remember I'll put links down below to those videos so you can see how some of the juicers are made as well as the factories. I got the full factory tour but you guys are only going to get a snippet of what I saw there. It was definitely really cool. And the one thing I want to say is that I, I do like that Kuvings, you know, they have their own motor manufacturing facility on site. They make the motors that go in these machines whereas Huram sources their motors from a different vendor. So over on the motor wattage, let's talk about that first. The Huram is a 150 watt motor and when I pick up this machine it's actually fairly light and uh, over on the Kuvings that makes their own motors, 240 watts and also when I pick this machine up man it's significantly heavier. This is you know a much uh, stronger more powerful motor in my opinion not only due to the wattage but because of all the copper windings that I saw them wind in their factory. So it has a much more uh, stronger, more powerful 
uh, motor that's going to be used to, you know, crunch up carrots and juice them easily, especially hard fibrous things that like beets, for example, or parsnips, or even jicama, jicama juice. Actually, you guys got to try that. It's really good. So yeah, the motor power is more powerful on the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Elite. Next, I want to talk about something that's very important when you should cons when that you should consider when buying a juicer, and it's the warranty, right? Um, I only got into juicing because of my health. I almost lost my life when I was in my 20s. The doctors told me that I might not make it out of the hospital alive. I was put into the hospital in intensive care. I literally woke up in intensive care with IV stuck in me. And the doctors, when I asked them, like, when am I going to get out of here? They said, you might not make it out of here. I had spinal meningitis, the viral version, which there is no medical treatment. So I, I, I really just basically prayed and I was lucky to get out of the hospital. But upon leaving, I found out that I had complement immune deficiency, which is basically a chronically weak immune system. And many people these days walk around with, um, a, you know, immune diseases. You know, whether that's a, different kinds of skin conditions, lupus, and all these different things are autoimmune diseases. And what I learned over all these years is that um, by including more fresh fruits and vegetables, and even making a diet virtually almost all out of fruits and vegetables, you could be healthy because you are only as healthy as the foods that you eat. And we know this. I mean, they call junk foods junk food because it's junk. It's not good. It's not going to feed your body. It's not going to nourish your body. It's not going to provide your immune system all the proper phytonutrients and phytochemicals, vitamins and trace minerals that it needs to be healthy and not just be healthy but thrive because I don't want you guys just surviving, right? Surviving is what the average American is doing. And, you know, the top 20 killers of Americans today have been proven to be shown to be prevented and even reversed, some of them, uh, through eating a diet that's rich in fruits and vegetables. Heart disease, the number one killer of Americans today, the only thing that's ever been proven to reverse heart disease is eating a fruit and vegetable dominated diet as well as other plants. So th this is really powerful technology that we have now, the information we have, but now you need to use it by using the juicers. So, you know, to me, a juicer is an investment. And it's an investment more important than, you know, money in the bank that's drawing you a scant 1% or 2% interest these days. This is an investment in your health. Your health, as I learned when I almost lost my life when I was younger, is your greatest wealth. Without your health, you are not here. You are not alive. You can't love people. You can't you know, take your dog for a walk. You can't go to movies. You can't, uh, you know, go out for hikes or runs, whatever you love to do in life, you know, especially if you're immobilized and are in a wheelchair or don't have your health. And I know some of you guys watching this right now may not be in the best of health, but guess what? You, if you're still breathing, there's still a chance you could turn your health around. But the juicer is an investment in your health, and if your juicer breaks and you can't juice, then you're not going to get the high levels of fruits and vegetables in you that are going to help you regain your health, in my opinion, and have, have helped me regain and build my health to a really strong level these days. So that's why I believe a warranty is one of the most important things uh, you, know, you should consider when purchasing a juicer. And some warranties on a, a juicer you could buy at the big box store, even many juicers online, imported juicers from China, um, have a short... 90 day, maybe one year warranty if you're lucky. Over on the uh, Huram juicer, they have a 10 year warranty on the motor base. So this motor, even though it's 150 watts and it's, it's kind of a light base, which is good if you can't lift heavy things, um, it has a 10 year warranty. And that's good, but here's the thing. The top half of the juicer, this part, which is the part most likely to break, the motor actually is the least likely part to break on a juicer. Um, only has a two-year warranty, which is a travesty. I mean, it's longer than many of the other juicers, but when you're spending, you know, top dollar on a Huram juicer as a two-year warranty, that's not the best investment in your money, of your money, or in your health. So the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Elite C7000, on the other hand, the motor base here, that has a full 10-year warranty, just like the Huram. But then on the top set of the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Elite that also has a 10 year warranty. So on this juicer, between years 2 and 10, this is not covered. 
On this machine, it is. The most likely part to break on a vertical slow juicer from my observation and personal experience, because I've broken a few, is the juicing screen. That's the part most likely to break. If you have to buy a new juicing screen, depending on the company you're buying it from, could be between 60 to 80 dollars. So, you know, after year two, if the juicing screen breaks under normal using, usage, you're gonna have to buy a new juicing screen to get your Huram working again. Whereas on the Kuvings, uh, it would be included under warranty if it broke due to no fault of your own. Now, the other thing regarding warranty that's very important to me is the company stability, right? I have no problems with Huram in Korea. They're a good established company. They've been there for many years as is Kuvings has been good and established in Korea for many years. But the track record with Huram USA, which is a division of the uh, Korean company, is not the greatest. You know, they had an office in the U.S., they closed that office down, they gave a distributor to distribute their products, and for a while they didn't have an office in the U.S., and people that had bought a Huram juicer could not get parts or warranty service for their machines. Um, so... Hopefully Huram USA is back and they're back to stay and they're going to support all their old machines, make parts available on their website. You can't even go to the Huram website and buy parts for their older machines. Nonetheless, they're new machines, which I think is a red flag. Uh, over on the Kuvings side, actually, Kuvings is a more established company in the USA. I've visited their headquarters in the USA right outside Chicago many times. They're definitely not going anywhere. They're really stable, um, you know, and they have all their parts and things available on their website and a phone call is all you need to get a hold of the warranty service for Kuvings. I've never had any uh, bad uh, complaints regarding Kuvings warranty service. And the other thing I want to let you guys know, if you make your purchase through discountjuicers.com, I'm your liaison, right? If you buy a juicer from us and Kuvings, you get a hold of them for warranty support or any of the other manufacturers that we represent and they're not taking care of you, you know, let me know what's going on exactly, right? And, and if it's a leg legitimate warranty claim, then I'm gonna make sure that the manufacturers take care of you. Because you know what? The manufacturers, they wanna take care of me. They wanna make sure that I'm happy because they know that I make videos and that I sell and promote the machines and they want everybody to be happy. And this is just how it should be. Unfortunately, I can't say this if you buy your juicer from a big box store or from wherever else, you know, um, I don't know if they're going to necessarily be your liaison like I would because I'm literally ingrained in the juicing industry. I literally juice every day of my life and, uh, you know, everybody knows me quite well. And they want to make sure that I'm happy and my customers are happy at the same time. So, yeah, so that's about the warranty. I guess next let's get into some of the more specifics about how the machines work because those are the things that you really can't see. But now we can get into some of the things I could show you guys on the video. So the first thing that's the big difference between these two machines is the feed chute size. Kuvings whole slow juicer, they have a nice funnel here and a nice uh, three inch wide feed chute. What this means to you is that you could take whole apples, whole pears, whole beets, right? Whole tomatoes, just drop them in the machine. They're gonna be processed and juiced without you having to cut them up. Over on the Huram side, and this is Huram's latest and greatest model, Right, check this feed sheet at si at size out. Huram, I'm proud or not proud to say, has the smallest feed sheet size of any vertical slow juicer. I personally believe this is a travesty and it slows people's down. And you can even see where, you know, on the bottom of the feed chute, it's actually quite large. And on the top of the feed chute, it's actually quite large. But then they put these little tabs here to cut off the size to make it even smaller. So they want to make your feed chute size small instead of large. So this is, in my opinion, not too customer friendly. So that's the uh, feed chute there. Uh, both of them actually, as you guys could notice, are kind of like uh, smoke colors. So you kind of see what's going in the feed chute to see if you have a backup or jam. Um, the other thing I do want to say is that when using a vertical slow juicer, uh, I believe that you should never use your pusher to push the produce in. The only exception is if produce is stuck because you've jammed up your feed chute, then use it to dislodge the stuck produce, but you should always let gravity feed the produce in the vertical slow juicer. That's one of the benefits of the vertical slow juicer, these style machines. If you're considering between a vertical slow juicer and a 
horizontal slow juicer, you know, be sure to check my other videos because each one of these juicers, each style of juicers have their pros and cons. I personally, for my personal juicing preference and for what I juice most, and for my lifestyle, I find the vertical slow juicers are the best juicers for me. They're the fastest, they get the highest yield on all different kinds of produce overall. And uh, you know, especially if you're new, this is probably the style you wanna get. Now, if you got specific needs, like you wanna juice mostly wheatgrass or mostly wheat leafy greens, then that's when you may want to go for a horizontal single auger juicer. Next, let's go ahead and pull out the augers here. Here's a nice beefy auger on the Kubing's Whole Slow Juicer Elite. And here's the little tiny auger <laughs> on the Huram uh, HAA model. So the auger designs are a little bit different. You know, I do like that on the Huram, they do have actually a dual blade system or two blades. These are not really sharp blades, but they're two tabs when the produce comes in. It kind of comes in and, and kind of like uh, maybe cuts it um, in smaller pieces to some extent, but it really doesn't do a lot of cutting because these are not sharp. And then the uh, Kubings, on the other hand, has a nice big auger and it works a bit different. It basically just crushes things up instead of cutting them. And, uh, you know, by the time the produce gets down to the bottom of the auger, it's literally all crushing and squeezing out the produce. And of course, on both these machines, they have the new technology on the bottom where they are recessed. This is very important to look for on any uh, vertical slow juicer. The recessed technology here on the bottom basically allows uh, for less clogging of the machine because it allows some of the back pressure of the pulp to go inside uh, the auger instead of get jammed up in the bottom of the casing. And when you're cleaning these machines, both these will always have some pulp underneath, so don't be alarmed when that occurs. So these are the two augers. They are both made out of the GE Alton material that's eight times stronger than augers previously made on horizontal single auger juicers and may still be in some augers from uh, China, for example. Next, let's go over the juicing screen. The juicing screens are a little bit different. There's pros and cons to each of these juicing screens. So let's see here. It looks like to me that on the Huram, there's you know, a more screen area for the juice to come out. Whereas on the Kuvings, there's a little bit less screen area to clean. In addition, the Huram screen on the bottom is completely open and on the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Elite screen, it's actually closed on the bottom. You know, there's one hole where the pulp comes out and there's one hole where the uh, the motor shaft uh, extends into the juicer so you could connect it to the auger. Now there's pros and cons to each of these styles. In general, I find that this style generally tends to clog a bit less than this style, but the main benefit I've seen to this style is that, you know, uh, having a closed juicing screen, which no other juicer does at this time on the market for the vertical single auger machines, is that it actually makes your bowl cleaning significantly easier because there's less pulp left in the bowl at the end of your juicing session, whereas all the pulp is going to be left inside the juicing screen, so that it just takes, makes it easy to take out this juicing screen. I tap it over my compost bin and wipe it out to get all the uh, pulp out. Uh, speaking about juicing screens, a juicing screen is the thing that's going to take you guys the longest to clean on any vertical slow juicer. For example, the uh, Huram juicer takes me under three minutes to clean. The Kuvings, you know, might take me three, four minutes to clean. That's negligible, but here's the thing that's different. You know, on the, the Huram, they provide you two cleaning brushes. You know, one scrubbing brush that takes longer to use, and then a, a conical brush to clean the spouts and whatnot. And on the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Elite, they also include those two brushes, but they also include a special brush uh, right here, which is a screen cleaning tool. So you can just put this screen cleaning tool inside the screen and wipe this around. And it's like, you know, giving your guys' a car a car wash. When you go through the car wash, they have all those brushes that clean it. Well, there's uh, multiple brushes in here. Uh, let's see, uh, like uh, tw uh, six different brushes that go in here that make screen cleaning a breeze that's gonna save you guys time. Once you screen clean the outside of this, um, you're gonna go ahead and use the brush on the inside and you're gonna be done in no time at all. So I do like that they have that feature on the Kuvings. Uh, I guess as we're also talking about the screens, these are the standard juicing screens with the small holes that you're gonna use to juice most fruits and vegetables. And there are additional attachments included 
with both machines. So the additional attachments uh, for both machines include uh, the blank plate or the sorbet screen. So this screen allows you to process frozen fruits in the machines so that you guys can make your own 100% frozen fruit sorbets. Frozen fruit sorbets are amazing, especially if you just do ripe frozen bananas through these machines. It makes, an, it makes like a banana ice cream that has no cream, but it's way healthier than eating ice cream with monodiglycerides and all these different extra added sugars and artificial colors and flavors, right? You guys want to be eating healthier. You want to eat more fruits and vegetables and frozen fruits, they qualify as fruits. They're so delicious. They're so healthy for you. And I want you guys to make healthier alternatives in your life. And both these machines allow you to do that with the included attachments. Now the next thing that actually comes with the uh, Huram juicer that does not come with the Kuvings Whole So Juicer Elite is another juicing screen. So this juicing screen, it looks like the other juicing screen, but instead of having small holes, it actually has large holes. So this is known as a coarse screen. What this allows you to do is allows you to put more pulp into your juice if you, you, know, if you want more pulp, uh, as the smaller screen takes more uh, pulp out. Of course, an easy way around the coarse screen is by basically just taking some pulp out of the pulp bin and adding that and mixing it back in your juice if you want some more pulp in your juice. Now, of these two juicers, in general, the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Elite will put more pulp in your juice just overall, and they do include a strainer if you want to remove some of that pulp. Uh, the Huram, I don't believe they include an additional strainer with their machine. They just give you the two different um, screen so you guys can determine if you want more pulp or less. Now the other part that is an optional accessory that you can buy separate with the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Elite that's not even available on the Huram is this guy. This guy, while it may look like the coarse screen, it actually has a bottom that's closed plus the spout port, uh, the, the spout port or the pulp port is closed. So this is known as a smoothie attachment. So this allows you to make low RPM smoothies in the Kuvings Whole Slew Juice Elite that you can't do on the Huram. So I do have a video, uh, if I remember I'll put a link down below this video to the video using the smoothie screen. It is amazing. It basically, instead of blending things at high RPMs that will oxidize your juice and you will lower some of the valuable phytochemicals and phytonutrients, this does it at a lower RPM and really makes a nice smooth consistency even smoother than you would in a blender. And that's why I like this attachment and it's only available on the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Elite. So the next parts on both machines are the wiping blades. So it's these automatic wiping blades that spin around as the juicer is running to basically keep your screen clean to ensure you're going to get the highest yields. And I mean pretty much both these are pretty much the same. They both have a gearing on the bottom that you'll need to clean at the end of each juicing session. You know, to me, there's a lot more teeth on the Huram uh, juicer, so this means more cleaning. There's a few less teeth on the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Elite. Next, of course, we have our bowl, and the bowls are uh, ones marked up to 400 milliliters. This one's marked up to 450, although I believe this one will hold a little bit more. Uh, but both of them have that spout cap. I like that this one's actually round on the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Elite. Uh, experiencing a square spout cap, I do find that this leaks a little bit more than the round ones I am used to. Also, this is a little bit more surface area to clean when you're done juicing. So you're going over to the pulp uh, outlet port on both machines. I do like actually on the uh, Huram that the pulp outlet port is actually quite large. It allows me to get my pinky in there when I'm done juicing to clean out all the pulp, plus it's actually opened on the top to make uh, it easy access. Whereas on the Kuvings Hall So Juice Elite, the pulp port where it comes out, it's a lot more narrow and it's really difficult to get your finger in. I, I have a small finger, so I'm still able to do that. Um, but generally you would use a, the screwdriver tool, which is the end of their cleaning brush that's included. So both these machines actually have uh, integrated gearing inside or underneath the bowl that turn the automatic wiping blade. So uh, this is a new feature only on the latest and greatest uh, vertical slow juicers. Um, I don't know, 
For me personally, I don't really particularly care for this under the bowl gearing system because I find when I wash the bowl, water always will get in that gearing system as well as potentially food particles and then they uh, really have a hard time drying and getting out of it, which may mean you may have oops, mold issues and this kind of stuff later. So I really don't like that, but hey, that's what both these guys have. Okay, uh, last thing on uh, these uh, bowls is uh, the Huram actually has a little gasket sealing, a seal in there that in ensures you won't get a uh, juice leaked on the top of your motor base whereas the Kuvings whole so juicer leak does not have that seal. Um, Kuvings has decided to put that seal actually in the uh, juicing screen where actually it's a really well enforced juicing seal that actually is replaceable so you can take it out. So I like actually this design a little bit. It's actually a little more secure seal in my opinion than the one on the Huron. Now the final thing that I want to say is that on the Kuvings Hole Slow Juicer Elite there is no pulp flap so you don't have to mess with any kind of pulp flap um, which is good. This is I think the only machine that has this in the newer days and actually it still makes a high yield despite having no pulp flap which is actually quite impressive. Over on the Hurom, on the other hand, there is a pulp flap on the bottom, and I could uh, you move this lever, you guys could see the uh, pulp flap pop out right there and pop in. So they have a lever that controls a pulp flap. You could open it or close it, and you could open or close it during juicing, depending on what you need to do. In general, I like to leave it closed, so you're going to ensure you're going to get the highest yield. Uh, that being said, uh, when you need to clean it, that's an issue because this is fixed and integrated on previous generation machines of pulp flap you can just remove and you can see the top and the bottom of it clearly and easily. Um, even then some people did not clean their pulp flap properly and there'll be some mold growth on it and especially when you can only move the pulp flap in and out and you can't even get to the top of this pulp flap to clean it easily. Uh, you know I personally believe there could be some uh, mold issues with that. Um, I mean I'm sure if I sat here and disassembled this I could get it apart and clean it properly but it makes it uh, relatively difficult to clean plus there's some uh, intricate gearing uh, parts that are open right to the back of the pulp flap which you know may cause pulp to get in there when cleaning and then you'll always see some uh, remnants underneath the uh, clear bowl which in my opinion is not super optimal. So we're going to go ahead and close that and set it up for juicing. Now I did talk about the motor bases Oh wow, this is actually quite light uh, once it's empty or there's no parts on it and then this is still actually quite heavy. Now both these machines uh, spin at low RPM or revolutions per minute. The Huram on this side runs at a low and slow 43 revolutions per minute and the Kuvings Hole Slow Juicer Elite runs at 60 revolutions per minute. So this one runs like 17 RPMs faster. Does that mean you're going to get done juicing quicker? Well, not only because of the a little bit faster RPMs, but mainly just due to the fact that this has a larger feed chute. You will be getting done juicing uh, quicker in this slow juicer. Now, the other thing, I don't think the 17 RPMs really makes a difference, but what I do believe in is that you should purchase a slow juicer. The slow juicers that run, you know, 150 RPM or under, you know, are a world of difference away from the high speed juicers of yesteryear which in my opinion is outdated technology in this day and age of slow juicers. The high speed technology 3000 or even 10,000 RPMs they run really fast they inject oxygen into the juice they also by proven scientific published studies lower the polyphenol content of the juice which in turn uh, have been shown in actual uh, laboratory testing to reduce cancer inhibition. Um, so that's why I recommend the slow juicers. I guess uh, those are the, probably the main big differences between these two machines. Both these machines include, you know, the standard juice catch cups. Oh, I guess the Huram includes a, you know, a drain rack, which I believe is kind of unnecessary. Uh, I like to wash the machine and then just uh, tip it over on its funnel upside down and just kind of let all the water drain out. I'll, I'll set the uh, auger in there, you know, to dry out as well, and I'll generally set the uh, screen on top. And this is my drain rack right there, so you don't need some extra piece of plastic um, to do your draining or whatever like that, you know. So 
Yeah, so that's pretty much that. That's the comparison of these two machines. Let's go ahead and reassemble these machines, show you guys which one is easier to reassemble. And uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and start with the Huram, which is a little bit easier to reassemble in my opinion. You take the juicing bowl, you set it on top of the machine like that, sets in place. You're going to take the uh, juicing screen and the wiping blade. You're just going to basically pop that on. And then uh, there's no dots to line up. You just set this in and it basically drops down. You got to kind of turn it until it drops down and uh, seats into place, which it just did. Then we're going to go ahead and take our auger, drop that in there, rotate it in until it's fully seated. I might have to spin it a little bit and get it seated. And then we're going to take our top. There's one arrow you need to line up with the uh, arrow to here, which needs to be kitty, kitty corner. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, turn it to locked. If you did that, then the machine's going to turn on uh, properly. Over on the Kuvings Whole Zoo Juicer Lead, still very easy to assemble. A little bit, few more things you got to pay attention to. We're going to go ahead and put the bowl on the top of the machine. Next, we're going to take that uh, juicing screen and the wiping blade, pop that on. And then we got to line up the red dot here with the red dot here. It's still not really big of an issue. Actually, that was a little bit easier. Try not to have to fiddle with dropping it down and getting it to fit, just lining up the dots. Next, of course, we got to throw in our auger right there. Uh, goes in, make sure it's fully seated or the top will not properly assemble. Then take this little red dot with the red dot here, line that up and lock it into place. And then that guy you can turn on. Now, uh, the Kuvings Whole Soju Juicer Elite, tad bit louder in operation than the Huram Juicer. But once you start juicing, you know, some of that will be taken away. So uh, yeah, that's both machines so far. I guess the next thing I'm gonna do is actually do a juice off comparison test today. So we're gonna come back at you with the produce we'll be juicing. So now I'm back and I'm all set up, ready to juice. What we'll be juicing today are one of my favorite fall and winter fruits. They're these guys right here. These are known as the pomegranates. Pomegranates are really rich in phytochemicals and phytonutrients and vitamins and minerals and it's something that you guys should take advantage of when they're in season because they're only in season for a limited time. Right now you're going to be finding U.S. grown pomegranates near you. Of course this depends on when you're watching this episode. So how to select a pomegranate? You want to get one that's really nice, rich, and dark. You want to make sure the skin is not shriveled and it's heavy for its size. If it's light for its size, that means it could be going bad. So uh, dark, nice, and heavy. Uh, so uh, while you could take the pomegranate and cut it up and just put it into the machine hole, or even if it's a small diameter, stick it into the Kuvings Hole Zo Juicer hole, I do not recommend that. Uh, the reason for this is although the skin is edible, it tastes horrible. There's a lot of phytonutrients and phytochemicals in there, but it tastes really bad. And even when you cut this in half and you put it on a juice press, like many popular places do to make pomegranate juice, you know, you basically get a pomegranate water. You're not getting the full nutrition out of the entire pomegranate, which includes the seeds that are underneath the uh, tendrils or the arils of the pomegranate. So what I prefer to do is actually I prefer to de-seed uh, these guys, and as you guys can see, I have two uh, jar fulls of seeds with equal amounts, and I de-seed them, and then I take these seeds and pour them through the machine, and then I get the highest extraction of pomegranate juice, even over and above just pressing them out, and as well as the uh, pomegranate juice that comes out is sweeter than just the pressed pomegranate because of two reasons. Number one, I'm not getting the bitter skin oils pressed in the juice because I've already separated those out and number two it's grinding up some of the seeds so I'm getting some of the essential nutrients in the seed into my juice that really makes it nice creamy thick and delicious so that's why I'm juicing these palms today anyways let's go ahead and do the weigh-in and show you guys that we got a clean fair fight today let's go ahead and take a look at the scales as you guys can see, over on the Kuvings Whole Soul Juicer side, looks like we've got even 16 ounces. That's one pound of pomegranates. And over on the Huram side, 16 ounces of the delicious pomegranate seeds. 
So now that you guys saw, we have a fair and even amount of pomegranate seeds for both juicers. We're going to go ahead and get juicing. Let's go ahead and uh, move these scales out of the way here. So first we're going to go ahead and juice in the Kuvings Wholesale Juicer Elite C7000 model. And basically because I've already uh, de-seeded the pomegranates and they're nice and small, that's not really going to show us the major advantage the Kuvings has with its wide feed chute and time. I have done other tests with uh, smaller feed chute machines and found that it took maybe uh, maybe five minutes versus like three minutes of juicing so it's like going to add two minutes of extra time to juice in uh, you know a smaller feed chute depending on the produce item being juiced so in this case it was actually carrots so anyways uh, let's just go ahead and turn this machine on and see how it does with the pomegranate seeds so I'm just going to go ahead and slowly feed those in we don't want to like drop them all in at once, we just want to not overload the machine. We want to make sure our spout cap is always up. If you keep it closed during juicing, that will reduce your yields. I do like that the Kuvings has a funnel here because uh, some of the overspray will not just drop onto the counter, they'll actually get funneled uh, into the juicer. So as you guys can see, the machine is doing an amazing job as I'm pouring these guys in. You guys can see the pulp coming out. We'll pour some more of these guys in there. We've got a few uh, stuck up that are stuck to the walls of the uh, machine there. Maybe if we uh, change our pour angle, that'll help us out a little bit. And then we gotta tap this down and get the rest out. All right, let's see if I get my hand in there. All right, no pomegranate seed left behind. Looks like we're uh, done juicing in the Kuvings hole, so juice relief. There's a few seeds that are stuck on the end, but guess what? They're gonna be staying in there. Now, the last thing I wanna let you guys know is that you know once you put the last item to be juiced in your juicer, you don't wanna turn the juicer off like immediately. You wanna you know make sure that their pulp is uh, if it's stopped, that means the juice is pretty much done working and you want to make sure that the, there's no major stream of juice coming out, otherwise you're leaving a pulp or a, you know, a pulp in the juicer that still has juice left in it. Looks like it's barely dripping out, so we're going to go ahead and turn that baby off. Next, we're going to go ahead and focus our attention over to the Huram HAA juicer. Turn this baby on. I do say I like that it is quieter, and uh, we're going to go ahead and pour this in. And actually, the, uh, because the feed chute is so small, a lot more of it's going in actually into the funnel. So I'm just going to go ahead and feed this in at a nice and slow pace. Now, although I am juicing pomegranate seeds today, uh, these juicers are some of the best juicers for juicing any kinds of fruit. If you do want to juice fruit, I do encourage you guys to pick and select hard and firm fruit. You know, uh, those juice, those fruits are best juiced if you're picking soft, mushy fruit. They don't tend to juice as well. And of course, these juices will also juice things like hard vegetables, carrots and beets, celery, as well as your leafy greens. On both these machines, I do encourage you guys to pre-cut your leafy greens and your celery into uh, eighth inch or minimum quarter inch size pieces for best results. Be sure to check my other videos on how to use uh, these slow juicers properly so you're going to cut things up and then rotate feeding them if you're juicing more than one produce item. Alright, looks like we got the last of these pomegranate seeds out into the Huram juicer. We're going to go ahead and let this run and this is actually quite telling here. And we're going to get to see uh, the results in a minute, but I could clearly see by just looking at the juices, there's definitely a difference, and also by looking at the pulps. I guess this one's barely dripping out, so we're going to go ahead and stop this baby, put this spout cap down, put this spout cap down, and then we're going to go ahead and take out this pulp, and we're going to go ahead and take out this pulp here, and we're going to show you guys the battle of the pulps. <laughs> So definitely looks like to me that on the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer, uh, this is some of the pulp here. You definitely could see uh, some of the seeds that were not crushed. Many of the seeds actually were crushed. And if we take the pulp and we squeeze the pulp out, 
<laughs> I gotta squeeze pretty hard and I might barely get one drop out. It's actually pretty dry. Uh, next, going over to the uh, Huram pulp, which actually looks a lot different actually. Here's the pulp of the Huram. So uh, comparing the pulp side by side, you guys could see um, there's definitely some seeds left in the kuving, so it didn't grind up everything literally to a pulp. Um, I still see some seed fragments in uh, the Huram and maybe a few almost, well they're, they're mostly all ground up, but I still see some seeds. But it's ground up significantly better. We're going to go ahead and put this pulp in my hand, squeeze this out. And I squeeze this out as much as I can, I can't even get one drop out of it. So yeah, it looks like the Huram, in terms of the pulp, was better at grinding and it was more efficient at getting the juice out. Next, let's go ahead and uh, move over these juice catch cups and let's do a close up and see which juicer yield supreme in this comparison. Let's go ahead and do a close up on these two juices. So as you guys can see, the juice over on this side is from the Kuvings. It's actually a little bit darker. And then the juice over on this side is from the Huram. It's actually a little bit lighter. But I'm concerned about looking at the overall yields. So on the Kuvings side, it looks like it's just a uh, between 300 milliliter and 350 milliliter. Maybe call that 330 milliliters, 335. I don't know. Over on the Huram side, it's uh, definitely up at almost uh, above 300, almost hitting 350. I don't know. We'll call that maybe 345 milliliters. As you guys can see, there's clearly a color difference of the juice and just a little slight difference in the yield. So as you guys just saw, the Huram actually produced a little bit more juice. You know, maybe under 5% difference. I don't think that's a huge whole lot in difference. But the other thing that's quite interesting to me is the color of the juice. The Kuvings juice is actually darker. The Huram juice is a little bit lighter. Does that mean there's more phytonutrients and phytochemicals in the... Kuvings Wholesale Juicer Elite, because this one is darker, but this one's lighter, but maybe this one is diluted with some of the extracts from the seeds. So that's quite interesting. I guess the next thing is I want to go ahead and taste these juices, see if I get to taste any or discern any kind of minor differences. I think uh, first we're going to go ahead and taste the Kuvings Wholesale Juicer Elite juice. Nice and clean, not seeing any fiber in there. It's definitely good. Bottoms up. <laughs> mm. I definitely get the pungency in my mouth of the pomegranate juice. Tastes good. I mean, that's some good stuff. Definitely better than that stuff you buy bottled up in the store. Next, let's go ahead and try the juice created by the Huron. Once again, not really nice consistency. Definitely still taste that pungency. But it's a little bit less than the Kuvings. I believe this is because, I mean, it's still, still tasted, don't get me wrong, slightly less. I think if I had to say I favored one juice or, over the other, I mean, I think I'm going to say I have to like the Huram juice a tad bit better because it grinded up and got more of the nutrition out of the seeds, which maybe tempers out and balances, in my opinion, the, uh, you know, the pungency um, or the tartness of the pomegranates. Mm. So definitely in the yield test, the Huram juicer was superior, got maybe less than 5% more juice, also created a little bit better tasting juice. I guess finally at the end of this video, I always have to declare a winner of my juice off comparisons. Um, I guess at present time, both these machines are 
about the same price. They're within $10 of each other. And if you wait to the end of this episode, I'll mention a coupon so you guys can get the Kuvings Wholesale Juicer for even less than the Huron. But I guess with that, what we're going to have to say is I'm going to have to declare the winner of this juice off. And I think based on all the facts that I've explained to you guys today, how the juicers work, all this kind of stuff, I'm going to have to declare the winner of this juice off the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Elite. Uh, this is not only because it has uh, a larger feed chute, which will definitely save you guys a lot of time when juicing, it also has a longer warranty. So eight additional years on the warranty, 10 years on the whole machine, instead of two years on the parts and 10 years on the motor. In addition, it also comes with that unique cleaning brush that'll save you guys time when cleaning, as well as that awesome uh, smoothie screen that is an optional accessory so you can make slow RPM and low RPM smoothies in the Kuvings Hole So Juice Relief something you can't do with the Huron. The other thing I liked about the Kuvings is that you don't have that pulp flap that may get you know uh, moldy on you and is going to be difficult to clean. Of course each of these juicers have their own sets of pros and cons but overall I think I'm going to have to say I like the Kuvings. Now if you do like the grinding aspect that the Huron did, but you want to get a juicer with a longer warranty, be sure to look into the Omega VSJ843, which is actually made for Omega by Huron. So check the link down below where I compare this machine to the Omega VSJ843 that has a 15 year warranty instead of two years. We'll also get the same exact yield and do the same exact job on the pomegranate uh, seeds that I've showed you guys today. So if you guys enjoyed this episode, please be sure to support me and my work by making your purchase at discountjuicers.com. I'll put a link down below so that you guys could get the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Elite C7000 at discountjuicers.com. And if you use the coupon code WEIGHTLOSS, that's all one word, all lowercase, W-E-I-G-H-T-L-O-S-S, -S, on our website, you get a $20 discount on the Kuvings Whole Slow Juicer Elite, making it cheaper uh, than the Huron. Also, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to give me a thumbs up. I'll do more episodes like this with these two machines and other machines in the future. And also be sure to click that subscribe button right down below. I come out with new and exciting episodes, comparing juicers, sharing new products, all kinds of cool stuff about every five to seven days. And you'll be notified if you are a subscriber. Also, be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge. Over 450 episodes on this channel comparing all different kinds of juicers and literally explaining the juicers to you. All the information you need to know so that you guys can get the right juicer for you. You guys could start juicing today and start getting the health benefits and turning your life around. Start losing weight. Actually, I got a good testimonial just the other day of somebody who lost an enormous amount of weight, over 100 pounds, by simply... Uh, juicing and making other dietary changes. Also, be also you could you know increase your energy, get healthier, and help your body heal of different diseases and ailments like I have. Also, be sure to share my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge so that you guys could select the right juice for you because that's the most important to me. I want you guys to get the right juicer so that you guys buy it and you use it each and every day so you guys could derive the health benefits of these powerful fruits and vegetables that unfortunately most Americans do not get enough of. And the juicing allows you to massively increase the volume of the fruits and vegetables you could eat. You know, just in this uh, glass of juice here, I got one pound of pomegranate aerials. And I wouldn't necessarily sit there and eat and crunch on them, but man, I'm gonna sure be drinking them right after I'm done with this video. So uh, once again, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors. All right, this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. And I know a lot of you guys watching this video right now might be in the market for a juicer. You're shopping for a juicer and you want to get the best one. And thank God you found my videos because I am the juicing expert that's going to share with you guys and show, show you guys actually in the videos